three. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your tiny dog training collar to correct your dog. If you haven't assembled the collar yet, please watch the first video, How to Assemble Tiny Dog Training Collar by Rico Kingdom. To turn on your collar, press the power button. Then, press any button on the remote to turn it on. To toggle between sound, vibrate, and shock, press the mode button. You will see a specific icon for each mode. A speaker for sound, a vibrating block for vibrate, and a lightning bolt for shock. To adjust the intensity of vibration or shock, go to the desired mode and raise the intensity by pressing the right arrow button and left arrow, bu arrow button to lower it. The intensity of vibration and shock is adjustable, but sound level is not. Now you can put the collar on your dog. Make sure that it is tight enough that you can insert one finger between the strap and your dog's skin. Put the remote on sound mode and once you catch your dog misbehaving, press the Y button. If this resolves the misbehavior, continue using the sound mode. If sound mode does not stop your dog from misbehaving, switch to vibrate at level 1. And then incrementally raise the level until your dog responds to it. If you have used up all 9 levels of vibrate correction without success, start using shock at level 1 and only increase if you see that the dog does not respond to it. Raise the level until you see reaction from your dog and stay at that level for correction. Our training collars have very low intensity shock and to demonstrate that I will place the collar on my arm and then activate shock at level 1. As you can see, it does not really do much at this level. Just check just regularly check your dog to make sure that the collar is not too loose or too tight. Thank you for watching and please feel free to contact us if you have any questions.